Welcome back to another episode of Borderlands 2, part 4. Alright, so we finally made it to Sanctuary, so right now we're just going to be doing a simple... Um, we're just going to do a simple of a, um... Kind of just doing some story missions. Not story missions, uh, side missions. I'm starving! I want to eat your babies! Son, this might sting a bit. Dr. Zed, do no harm. You need cash? I need things I don't want talked about. Let's talk. Hey, Roland's boys caught this Hyperion jerkbag trying to sneak into the city. Looks like they messed up his lungs. Dude needs surgery bad. Get over here. You're gonna be my operating assistant. Okay. All right, make a small incision just below his sternum. But be careful, we don't want to nick the coronary artery. Okay, I got this. Close enough. Damn. <laughs> An right. iridium shard offer. How many times I tell you idiots, you can't get slag powers by swallowing this stuff. Well, that shard ain't no good in the black market. It didn't refine yet. You could probably take it to that Tannis lady on the other side of town. She's real into that iridium stuff. When she ain't acting all hoity-toity because she's got a real doctorate. Oh, and let me know if you're looking for work. I got stuff needs doing. All right. Let's go see Tannis. God is my witness. One day I will find a usable spleen. <laughs> uh... Makes me so happy to hear them talk a lot more. As I've said, Roland, now that Jack has the vault key, it is only a matter of time until he opens the vault. Also, I require a new ventilator. This lab smells of bacon. Bacon is for sycophants and products of incest. Tannis. Insanely smart. After hours of scientific insanity, you could only imagine in your dreams or in my bed standing over, I have deduced that Jack, the Vault Key, and the Iridium are all connected on a deeper level. Oh. Found an Iridium chart. Perhaps Patricia Tannis, a socially mad lad adjusted archaeologist, may have a use for this item. Come on back whenever you need some healing. As <laughs> long as you ain't scared of a little tetanus anyways. Alright, I guess that's it. Just finished hunting the Chromer X Prime. Woohoo! <laughs> what a rush! I never noticed you had a colorful gun on your back. And a knife. Oh wow, you've been having some fun. Alright. Let's go check else what the doc has for us. I got a perfectly legal and not shady job for you. You know what can make a bullet hole that ain't a bullet? Because I freaking don't. I've been seeing some confusing wounds coming from Three Horns. Head down there and find out what kind of weapon's causing them. An old rival of mine named Doc Mercy's using it. And don't let that name fool you. Unlike me, he's more interested in creating wounds and patching them up. Also unlike me, he actually has a medical license. <laughs> I'm legally obligated to tell you. Alright, let's see doctor. here. Good luck. Let's buy this, because this is like the actual most strongest shield you can get. Other than the one that's for the day. Um thirty-three nope. Seventeen. I'm already gonna guess the one on top is better. Check. Alright. Now we collected that mission. Let's go around. Actually, hold that one off for now because I think I know what that one's gonna be. It's, oh, the bounty board. Uh, okay. This is a recorded message to any Crimson Raiders in the area. Sanctuary has been targeted by four Hyperion spies masquerading as bandits. They're hiding out in Three Horns. Find them, kill them, and see if you can figure out why they're here. 
All right, we'll have to do that with a pistol. I think I might be. It's a teasy weasy bit. Hammerlock. Hello, mercenary person. I have money and a problem. Bully mom. Rubbish name, isn't it? But I'd like a better one before my almanac goes to print. Search some bully mom. Never like holding a gun in their faces. It their feels weird. And come up with a catchier name for the beasts. All right. Fun, please? This gun doesn't seem to work. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Looks like it works to me. <laughs> no refunds. Sup, Marcus? Hey, I got a job for you. You know what's better than killing someone with bullets? Killing someone with bullets that are on fire. Hey, Vault Hunter! If you're gonna be a part of the Crimson Raiders, you better know how to use elemental weapons, don't you think? I've just got a crate of spanking new Malawan elemental weapons. Wanna help me test them out? Sure thing. I'll see you in the firing range. Let's try out the fire. Fire weapons are extremely This is probably the only time you get close flesh, to Marcus, other than like another area. Shields. Go to hell, bandits! Do I have it in my inventory or something? Yes, I do. Now, burn that imperial. Aha! Fire and flesh. Quite a nasty combination. Now, how about a shielded target? Next quest will come as a shock to you, you know, a real shock, like like electricity, it's a pun. This Hyperion fascist thinks he's safe because he's got a shield. Spoilers, he isn't. Take I thought it was acid that lover. destroys shields. Yeah. A few good hits from a shock weapon will zap a shield away quicker than you can say, buyer's remorse. How shocking. And now corrosive weaponry. Hmm, now what else? Uh, ah, armor. That's what armor it was. Targets like these damned Hyperion robots can take a lot of damage. Unless you've got a corrosive weapon. See how the acid eats through the metal? I must confess, I love corrosive weapons. Looks like the corrosive guns work. And then last, time to learn how slag works. This is new. Now, let's try out these new slag weapons. Slag is a bit more complex. If you slag your enemy, all non-slag damage will hurt even more. Here, slag this chunk. This. Now that he's slagged, he should be easy enough to finish off. Switch to another weapon and hit him again. Oh, well... To do full damage, you want to switch to another we weapon go. once your enemy has been slagged. Whoops, I don't want to buy stuff from you. And on the upside, the elemental weapons work. On the downside, Marcus Moral Compass does not. If you want to purchase any elemental weapons like these, you could always buy some from your friendly neighborhood arms dealer. So do I keep them? It took out oh my gun. Alright, there we go. Alright. To head on out. Now, before moving on, I better make sure. Okay. It is organized how I would like it. Time to meet one more person. We already know him, and we all love him. Claptrap. Talk to me, baby. I got jobs. If you're willing to jump through a few hundred hoops, Claptrap has a surprise for you. Minion, over here. Your master commands you. All right. You helped me reach sanctuary, Minion, and for that, you deserve a reward. I have a secret stash hidden very, very far away from where I currently am. In order to find it, you will have to perform a 
a series of devious challenges. First, collect a few brown rocks for me. Then, defeat a badass skag. Then, pilfer the lost staff of Mount Schuler. <laughs> oh, exactly. Then, you shall bring me the head of the Destroyer of Worlds. And then, you shall dance for my enjoyment. Found Claptrap's secret stash. The stash has a place to store items so that all of your characters can access them. Oh, I forgot that you can do that. So, congratulations! You successfully subverted my meticulously planned challenges. Why don't you go check out the stash? Even though you didn't bring me what I asked for, I've decided to let you use that stash to share weapons between my minions. Specifically, the ones that, um, that you control. Look, it's for twinking items between your characters. <laughs> Fourth wall break. <laughs> Alright. So now that we pretty much got everything we can here, um, all the missions... Wait, didn't we... Wasn't there also board missions? I thought there was also board missions. Oh well. Uh, let's move on, I guess. Hey, Roland, handsome Jack here. Remember me? My men kicked your bandit asses out of New Haven and killed your little pal Lilith. Rainy bells. Anyway, I hear you and the rest of your little buddies have relocated to Sanctuary. Just wanted to congratulate ya. You've successfully delayed your death by a few months. I'm gonna be real busy mining Iridium to charge that vault key I stole from your buddy Tannis, so you guys are gonna be low on my priority list for a while, so... Jack. Can't say I missed the lands. Right. So we're not going to be doing the story instantly right now. We're going to do some side missions to level up at least. So I don't get utterly destroyed. So right now... Where are we? Three Horns Divide. So... Let's do this. These are the things you have to search. Ow. Ow. You can't just shoot them really, you actually kind of have to look for them. Ow. There's more. Ow. Any more? Doesn't look like it. I'm just gonna toss this now. Hello! That a girl! Poor little turn, buddy. Another turn, kill! I don't know if I leveled up or not, I'll have to check. Can I some cars? I don't remember. Well, I won't be able to tell. Kinda dead. Um... I don't even not know where to go. Uh, let's see. We do have a point. I'm just gonna keep increasing my health. <laughs> Even though they don't say you need to go over here, you can go over here. It's like bully mogs are all over the place in this area. 
Let's use those mounds to dispose of their refuse. That suggests a primate level intelligence. That's it. I shall call them primal beasts. I'll run it by my publishers. In the meantime, blow up some primal beasts with grenades, would you? Now the new name works for you. There we go. Oh, my publisher despise primal beast. Bloody uncultured. All right, what about Faravols? They're the most ferocious creatures I've ever seen, and I say that having watched a thresher rip my arm from its socket. Repressed memories, oh! <laughs> anyway, take the new name for a spin. Shoot some of the Faravols projectiles out of the air. See how that name thrills you. Whoa, what? Why are they all standing? That kind of scares me. <laughs> Like, it's just standing there like a gang of thugs. <laughs> nope. Nope. Alright. Alright, so we need to shoot some stuff out of the air. Got it. Is it right over here? Yeah, pretty much. There should be something here. So if you remember, they toss like ice chunks in the air, so... Hi. Ow. Come on, I know they throw stuff. He might kinda do it there. No. Come on, man. can't use my turret because they'll just kill them all. Oh, he's doing it. Crud, I wasn't ready for it. Crud, no, he blocked it. I just need to stop three of them. Don't know what that was. That sounded like a gunshot. Come on, man. Okay, oh, now he does it. To do this. Alright, I just need two ones. I just need two. Come on. He's probably gonna do it now because he's all by himself. Oh no. Oh. Come on. This has always been annoying. Ow. Come on. Easy. Way to do it. Shotgun. Can't miss. He's killing himself. Come on, man. Come on. No, not that. Jeez. Oh, I'm too slow. I just need one more. You throw in so many every time. He's gonna knock me down. I'm gonna have to find a new group. Come on, man. Gosh. Oh, no health. That doesn't help me. Wait. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. You're done. Sod it. I'm so sick of coming up with names for you. You know what? Bonafart. 
Fair enough to... That's right for calling them bona farts now. Just kill a few of them or something. I don't care anymore. Amazing name. Oh, I didn't even notice they called like the little ones toots. <laughs> That's amazing. For how many times I played this, I never realized that. My is I can't call them bone uh, Bully Mon's not so bad at all. Come on back. <laughs> eh, you can try again some other time. Let's figure out this medical mystery now. Skags. All right, I think this one's actually kind of hard, so we'll see how this goes. I have to keep my grenades at least for the end. Yeah, they're level nine. This is gonna be tricky. That's if I can hit them. Ooh, he launched that towards me. Just say stay away from my stuff. <laughs> Keep your mitts off my There's boy. Doc Mercy. Find your keepers, losers, die! You had one of your first brushes with E-Tech. Things got pretty messy. Now that you found an E-Tech gun, it's time to try it out. Oh, this thing. Okay, um... This thing sucks. At least it does for me. I never really cared for it. Alright, you have to kill these guys with it. Which sucks. Like, it's, it's a good gun, but I feel like it takes forever to hit this target. In a weird way. Like, it, you have to trace. It's a bit more harder. But it's still a good gun. It's not my taste. Doesn't help either that if you have to kill 25 of them. But really low clip. I don't think I really use this gun after this. Like, I think it's pretty much. I'm done with it. It's going to be a pleasure. Looks like there's all types of big guns out there. not a planet yet. I'm gonna give you up. Real guns. Sounds dangerously awesome. 
Even though I think this is like the only eco I'm keeping you can find. And I think this is all the bandits I can kill. I literally have to go find more now. Which is annoying. But it'll be easy. Um switch to those. Sorry, buddy. Oof, that gotta hurt. There we go, found a new area and leveled up. Obviously, health. No vacancy and no from the owner of the Happy Pig Motel. Catch a job! <laughs> Alright. Steampunks ain't working either. I see your problem. And I'm gonna take this slow so as you can understand, right? That thing's broke as hell. Yeah, I better scatter some replacement parts from the other pumps near the motel. Dang, uh, can you say that back again? <laughs> I didn't understand. The first part's easy to get. Stop walking away! Stop walking away! <laughs> I <ain't following> you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> why? They always do that. They walk away. It's so annoying. And I spawned all the way. Oh, that's because it's spawn point active because the power's out. Bump. Is it on his wrist? I can see it. Oh, it's a stronger one too. Great. Say hello, sweetie. Take those. Ow. Ow. Jeez. Okay. Calm down, please. Mad about that? Hi, you went and found the gearbox, huh? Man, those gearboxes sure are the cats up for taking for. Won't stay around here. Go ahead, plug her in. Fuck it. Suckers. Catch a ride. To the moon. Oh, there's that guy that destroyed me. Revenge. My remaining kidney, that pump right there, still got a working capacitor. Just flip open the bolt case and grab that sucker duck. Damn, son! Looks like the skags ate the hell out that steam pump's capacitor. Better start popping skags until one of them grabs it. All right. I like that. Which one got it? There it is. Nothing like a turret. All right, I'll leave you guys alone. I was looking for. Hey, side question. Is it weird when I notice the moment you pick something up? You know, I'm just in the bathroom. Wait, is that weird? I'm in a lot of spying on you in the bathroom at a friendship day. Well, either way, let's plug that fucker in. 
fucking love this game. I love Borderlands 2 much more than 1. It's so good. Just need 5 more. Hello! Gaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
That should be a good gun. So, boom. Put that there. All right, let's head to Sanctuary because we have a few missions we could turn in. Hammerlock assumes he will come up with a better name by his Alamac shipping date. He is incorrect. <laughs> Bullymong still rubbish, but I'll come up with something better before I launch the Almanac. I'm certain I will. Oh, by the details, you never do. <laughs> I'll have to take a look at this stuff at some at some point because um, I don't really want to be hoarding all these guns if I find more. Also, I can get a lot more money if I sell them. All right. Well done, Brainy. Because of your research, Dr. Zed now knows that E-Tech weapons, while visually distinctive and scientifically advanced, are still good at killing stuff. Oh, right. I was supposed to be studying the effects of these E-Tech guns on bandits. Right now, it looks like, uh, looks like if you shoot them a lot, they die. <laughs> oh, did I mention I don't have a medical license? <laughs> All right. Hope you enjoyed this episode like I did, and I hope to see you next time. Yeah. Bye-bye. Yeah.